Alrighty guys, I'm back with another video. This is a topic uh, video today. Uh, more of a talk and I got some good and bad news for you guys. So today we're going to talk about Marvel's Avengers. I know I know this is exactly not the Avengers gameplay you want to see, but Spider-Man is an Avenger, so I thought about it. It's okay, I think people will probably accept that. Um, but uh, I just want to say something a little, we can do a little swing in here, maybe a little bit of crime. Matter of fact, I want to just turn this down so you guys can hear me. Or it's audio. Where's audio? I'm just gonna turn this down to five or six. You don't think it goes down to five, but yeah, I think we should be good. Alright guys, so I just wanna say is that I just wanna say is that um I feel like the Avengers beta will be releasing in about 20, 29 days. And to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I you wanna know why. It's because um, the game is scheduled to release in about 58 days, and I think at when we hit the 30-day mark, then they're gonna announce when we can play the beta, and that's somewhere around, I'm thinking around August 4th. They're gonna release something. Uh, that's when the 30-day mark hits. They're gonna release something about the game, and I think around the end of July we're gonna get the new hero, and then um, August 4th we're gonna get the beta. So I'm thinking like around July 24th or July something we're gonna get the we get the new hero. And then around it's just a hunch, there's no confirm anything. So when you hop on, do not say okay, okay, he's telling the truth. No. It's not confirmed that this will happen. Cause to be honest with you, they can release it, they can release the, the game before at 15 days and let us play for two weeks. But then that whoever pre-ordered, we get the full game through this other, so that wouldn't really make sense. But to be honest with you, we'll probably get the beta. We'll probably get the beta around, um, around. To be honest with you, around August fourth or that week. And to be honest, with you, if I look at my calendar, August fourth is not a weekend. So let's see. We even if we do, we go to. Sorry, I'm just holding this down. Hold a minute. We go to August. August fourth is a Tuesday. So they could do is release the beta and the new hero. Cause they did put it on the war zone. They might release. They might give us good news. Either August seventh, they might release it. They can release it August seventh, the, be uh, the beta, and they can release the new hero on the thirty first. So I'm just making a speculation date that the game, well, the beta will be probably be getting this pretty pretty damn soon. And and I have a hunch that it will happen because we're already at fifty eight days now, and I can't wait. Um, it just um. And this is the good news. I want to tell you, this is a hunch, and you might want to expect it. But I just have a feeling. I'm not gonna say anything. I do not work at Crystal Dynamics or Square Enix Studios. I do not. So I'm not telling information. I'm just a YouTuber who's trying to give you guys information what I think. So um, we got a lot of Thor. Um, we got a lot of Thor. Um, we got a lot of Thor. Uh, uh, what's the name? We got a lot of Thor uh, moves upgrade called Fire Frost, God. God something I forgot God blast I can't remember all his moves but they 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 was talking about and I'll make a Thor video soon probably gonna be this uh, soon and uh, I probably will depending on how I'm feeling I got a lot of work to stuff to do so um we got a lot of stuff about Thor but uh, to be honest with you guys I really think they should talk about more about Iron Man because Iron Man is the mostly you guys see when you playing got playing with me online it's the mostly the character I be playing with the most because he seemed like he's the most balanced. And uh, most balanced out of all of the Avengers, probably Captain Marvel as well, and Doctor Strange will probably. I think Doctor Strange will be that support type character that can heal you or reverse time to reduce damage, or he can cast spells. Let's go take out these thugs. Um, and all that stuff. I think he's that type of character. He's like a more of a defender. So I will put him in that character, and I'll probably use Doctor Strange too, because um, he's one. He's one of my favorite characters in the Marvel universe. He's just so cool, dude. Um, him and Tony. Um, Thor, I think they. I think right now he's the most powerful Avenger out of all of them. Even even though Hulk might, people might say Hulk fans might say hell no. But as far as Hulk, I'm not really liking his gameplay. He looked too stiff. He runs super slow. I don't think they did Hulk, Hulk his justice. Even if you look at the Incredible Hulk video game, he looks way more like less stiff than now. And I'm not really finna his gameplay. So maybe that's old stuff. But I will give Hulk a try. I will try him out, but as far as the Hulk, I'm just not really stoked about playing him and um, about his character. I'm, I'm just sorry, guys. It's, it's just not for me. But as far as the 
The, um, damn it. Let me get you over here. Come on, buddy. All right, I can get you now. Okay, I, I, I still need to. I still want to take out big guy. Those are two problems. Everybody else is easy. Can I can grab him. Can I grab him? No. Okay. So, not to lose focus. So what I can do. Let's turn this back on. I can take out big dude easily. Watch this, y'all. Watch how this. I'm actually. Can we all please fight somewhere other than next to a leaking fuel tanker? Oh no. But um as far as that, as far as that though, um I, like I said, I will probably only plan as um Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, maybe a little Hawkeye for people who need like the guys who do, like who need range support. And and to be honest with you, um I'm just really stoked for that. But um so, uh, um, beyond, uh, let's see. Ooh, they haven't touched me, not yet. Wow. Um, but, uh, what about to say? But yeah, I think, uh, well, what else I'm about to say is that, what else I'm about to say is that, um, yeah, yeah, um, is about Spider-Man being in this type of so particular universe. No reward, I guess. And, um, um, I just want to say, guys, that I, they just said there's separate universes, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, it's not happening. And let me tell you the reason why. It's because Spider-Man is exclusive. They do not own the they do not own the rights to the character Sony, but they made it exclusive to that character, uh, to the game to Sony. I mean, you can't just give Spider-Man to the only the Sony uh, Sony uh, people who play who, people who play PlayStation. That's not fair. And I understand that from a business standpoint, their game will get a lot of hate. Um, but so, so Spider-Man, they just specifically said, it's just, it's just like what happened in MCU with Spider-Man. They had a problem, they couldn't come to a deal, and that's what's happened. They don't want their character on a, on different consoles. They want to make sure they're making money for themselves. And, yeah, you got to stay in business. You, you don't want to share what's been giving you billions of dollars. I, I will understand that. But at the same time, it's not fair to the fans if they can't get to play this particular character they love so much. So that's what the business standpoint has. They, they, it's just all about money at the end of the day. Um, so it's just like MCU. So I do not think Marvel's Spider-Man or Spider-Man in particular will be in this game or this continuity in this game at all. And to be honest with you guys, I, I, I believe that's a great decision because to be honest with you, I'd rather have him in the Marvel's Avengers 2. And I think that they need to come to a deal because if they make a plan, if this game does well and they make a second game, they need to make sure that they add that they need a, a, a new roster so you got to add more key characters if you already adding doctor strange bat no no i say batman shit um <laughs> uh sp uh, sp uh um you already, you already add doctor strange captain marvel hawkeye black panther if you add war machine you got uh ant-man that's already what five or six characters right there and at the same time take you out before he uh take you on too Let's go. And um, just at the same time, you, I mean, you gotta add more characters. I mean, you can't add characters that we've never seen before. You got some people from X Men like Psylocke, I was thinking about, or Wolverine. But Wolverine is more you know, like a. Um, you can even add, think about adding Deadpool, maybe. But he's like, he's like a. I don't know. I think he just needs his own game. I think he can. He can just make. They can make. They can make a universe. You know what I'm saying? With this gaming, and they they can do that. And they just, I just, they just don't want to do it because it's money. And I'm be honest with you. If I was the CEO of both of these companies, I'm like, yeah, let's go ahead and do it because the fans would be super stoked about Marvel Spider-Man doing well. And to be honest with you guys, they should have they should have done that because now people are just sleep on this on the Marvel's Avengers game, man. And they just don't think it's gonna be good. If you didn't put Spider-Man in, I think it would have gave it more hype. I'm gonna be honest with you. And to be honest with you, that'd have been really good. And it's just it's just what we're dealing with right now. Is that basically the same problem with the Spider-Man we had in the MCUs that they they can't come to agreement with money, and they they just, they just decided different universes, different worlds. I mean, I, I, I can understand that. I'm not mad, but I just really expect Spider-Man to be in Marvel's uh, Marvel's Avengers 2 if the game does well. Um, and to be honest with you guys, they need to add him, and Sony needs to come to agreement that people want this particular character in, in, in their game. So. 
That's the bad news, guys. I do not expect Spider-Man to be in this game, the first game. But what I can do is that when they make a Marvel's Avengers 2, and I think it should be about Ultron, they can introduce him at in-game content. And then when you bring, and they heard, I heard that Thanos also supposed to be in the first game as well, so they might mention Thanos. But if you can have him in a bit, and Marvel Avengers 2 does well as good as well, then you can add him into like, like you can make it like an Affinity War and end game type of game. And you can add all these type of characters going against, you know what I'm saying? And then you have Spider-Man that's 23 years old, or maybe a younger Peter. I, I would put Peter at 17 or something. And you could put him, um, they can change their Spider-Man. So, I mean, it depends. It depends on all, all, all that. But I just believe that they just they just need to come to an agreement with their deals. And I think they can't add this character if they talk to Asama. It's just different studios, just money at the end of the day, y'all. I mean, nothing we can do about it. But in the day, I believe that they will come to an agreement with this character because they know they know if they put this type of character in the Marvel's Avengers 2 as a trailer, I'm telling you. So, but I, like I said, they, they should save most characters for the next game, like Scarlet Witch, the Falcon, uh, Win Winter Soldier, like all these guys, they really need to save um, so they can have more profit or money. So if they, what, they should, what they should add in this game, I'm be honest with you, they need to add in this game, and I'm not playing, is Black Panther, Hawkeye, Ant-Man, and the Wasp. Um, need to add the Wasp. Um, uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, you have, uh, I say Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, and who else? And War Machine. I think that's a good roster to start off with. And um, I don't know how many characters are we getting, but I, I just know I'm glad that we're getting Captain Marvel because she is one of my favorite characters. I think she's third or fourth on my list. I think I saw the movie. <gasps> Ugh, excuse me. But, um, <laughs> guys, I just want to say that this is the most anticipated game I've been waiting for. I am grateful that this, this team and company is doing this game. Like I said, this video is just more of me having a hunch and me saying that it's been confirmed that Spider-Man will not be in this game. Uh, Marvel's Avengers. I know any Spider-Man fans who are hyped, but we are getting Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales in uh, in uh, in the winter in this in the holidays. Do not worry. So when you get your PS5 for Christmas or some kids, you just say, "I want Marvel Spider-Man for your first game," and you. Uh, I believe you can transfer the first game over to the next game. I bought the deluxe edition. I bought the best edition there was on the digital. So I do not know. Um, I didn't buy the one from the store uh, just because uh, I paid an extra 20 bucks. So, I mean, just guys, just be aware. And also, Marvel Spider-Man, I, I heard that we're supposed to get like a Comic-Con, like some footage or something. Maybe like maybe something for Avengers and Marvel Spider-Man. So, who knows? So, uh... I'm just swinging around right now, yeah, guys, but, uh, let me see. Where is this place? Where are you? Where are you? It's in the, in the Union Square, blah, blah, blah. That's just the garden. I just the pudding. Where is it? Where is it? This is a beautiful map, by the way. So, another thing, guys, is that I want to talk about before we go. You know, I just find it on my own. Hold a second. We got a crime. Uh, it's All about this. We're supposed to be getting... <laughs> And this is another thing I want to put. Is we're, we're supposed to be getting, we're supposed to be getting Marvel Spider-Man 2, but they're gonna announce it probably sometime in after Marvel Spider-Man Miles. They're probably gonna release to release a trailer or something for the next game. I hate this because they always hit me and they need to fix that. But um, see that I dodged and he still hit me. This, this is crazy. But um, we're supposed to be getting something. I'm done. I'm not gonna do this crime. It is cheap. But, um, they probably can handle it. I know it sounds wrong, it's superhero, but at the same time, we're supposed to be getting, like, a symbiotic thing in the next game. We'll probably introduce, I heard it, I think it said confirmed, it's supposed to be Venom and Carnage in the game. So, the thing is, though, really messed that one up. oh, no, it's okay. We'll, we'll fix it later. But what I really want to say is that I hope it's, like, Web of Shadows, because Web of Shadows is the most fluid symbiotic game. And I really think that That'd be really cool if you could just press L3 or LS, or the LS, L3, I believe, for PS4, if it's on the PS4, or left stick, whatever, to, uh, le le L3, I'm sorry. Um, L3 to switch to different suits, but do not make MJ annoying in the game, she said, you know what that suit does, it's just so annoying, 
to me that ruins the gameplay. She just like I I want her to be like her first time experiencing this shit. And then after the game, you can just wear after even after Marvel's Marvel Spider Man 2, that you can just uh you can just uh wear it whatever. And she won't say nothing about it. But yeah, so um but um but I just want to say, guys, that yeah, hopefully they increase the combat, the the melee, the stuff. You can't. The problem I had is you can't do stuff everywhere. You can't do it on the wall. You can't do it upside down. You can't do it on. You only can do it on like on poles or stand on the ground. They, they didn't really implement so many stealth takedowns in this game, and that that needs to be boosted in the combat as well. I feel like it just needs to be more combat moves that like seeing the same thing. Like if you see this, you just see Spider Man. No, you see Spider-Man doing this? Right, no, me. stop, stop. 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 Oh, God. Um, hold a sec. See Spider-Man doing this? He's doing the same move. And I, I want to see Spider-Man, like, using his fist, like Web of Shadows. I mean, I've been seeing a lot of Spider-Man just do a lot of kicking, you know? Yeah, I, I just want to, like, does he, did he take kickboxing classes or uh, a Taekwondo or something? Because I want to know. Shoot. But, um... Yeah, guys, I think they just need to increase on that. And in the web swinging, that's the only problem I had with it. The game, the story was perfect. It was perfect. I don't know why I got an 87. They made it. They made it seem like it was just like Arkham Knight. It was like it, it was a masterpiece. Don't get me wrong. It was really fucking good. But same time, y'all, this you know. But um, yeah, guys, all information I got for today. And um, yeah, I hope you guys love this video. I hope you guys love it and like it and. Uh, I'm about to upload it right now, and uh, we are, we are out, guys. And I like, like, subscribe, and if you're new, hope you like this informational video, and I'll probably do more like this if I have more information. Love you guys, on my squad, we out.